Well, it's 445, and uh, here's an established patient with a sore throat. So let's go in and see the patient. So hi, Sandy. I'm Randy Beckett. I'm a nurse practitioner. Hi. Nice <coughs> to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Tell me, uh, what brings you in today? I have a sore throat and a, a cough. Okay. And I, I really wanted to get some antibiotics. Okay. So you have a sore throat and a cough? Yes. Okay. And when did this start? This morning. This morning? Yes. So it just started today then? Yes. I'm trying to cut it off at the pass because if, I just can't afford to be sick. Okay. So uh, tell me, uh, on a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 is no pain at all and 10 is like take me to the emergency room, where would you say the pain is? Uh, I would say it's about a 6. I mean, so it's it, pretty it, painful, Yeah, it huh? hurts, yeah. It's pretty painful. So uh, you said you needed antibiotics? Yes, yes. There's a, um, a friend that I work with says that uh, she tried antibiotics before and it's, it stopped within the, like two days. So okay. that's, what, that's what I want to do. So okay. if you could just write me a prescription, that'd be great. Okay. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, why don't I examine you first and let's see what that okay. uh, shows up and then we'll decide what we're going to do. Okay. All right. So, Sandy, we did an exam, and you do have some redness in the back of your throat, mm -hmm. but there's no pus or white stuff or anything back there. Okay. And your ears look okay, and your eyes look okay. You but don't my have... ears do hurt just a little bit. Right, I understand. Um, and you, have, you don't have any swollen nodes or lymph nodes or no. glands in your neck okay. or anything. And your lungs sound clear, and your heart sounds great. Okay. So uh, this is probably a virus, and for a virus, you don't need antibiotics. So what are you trying to say? You're not going to give me antibiotics? Uh, no, because you don't need them. And now, a, a friend where I work, I work at CVS. Okay. And she says that she took antibiotics when she had a sore throat, and it was gone within like two days. And so that, that's why I'm here. Okay. So you work at CVS? Yes. In the pharmacy? Uh, no, in the photo department. Oh, okay. And my friend's a cashier. Oh, okay. Told me about uh, it. But she knows, you know, we, yeah. we work at CVS. Okay, all right. Well, um, I'll tell you, uh, with a virus, a virus, uh, the antibiotics don't do any good. So uh, I would just suggest you take some ibuprofen, like 200 milligrams every four to six hours for the pain. And then gargle with some salt water and a tablespoon of honey and some hot tea will help. But uh, this will probably just go away in two or three days, and you don't need any antibiotics. So you're telling me you're not going to give me antibiotics, and I just paid a $40 copay to come see you? Well, if you don't need them, then, you know, part of my job is to tell you what's best for you. So, no, you're, uh, I'm not going to write your prescription for antibiotics. So then I'm just going to have to go see another doctor. Well, I'm sorry, but that's, you know, that's your option. I'll just send you the bill. So, Sandy, we did your exam, and you do have a little redness in the back of your throat, mm -hmm. uh, but there's no pus or white stuff in your throat oh, or anything like that. Good. And I looked in your ears, and they're normal, and your eyes are clear, and also uh, you don't have any swollen nodes or anything here in your throat, and your heart sounds good, and your lungs are great. Good, good. Right. So... Uh, uh, what this would indicate is more likely is that you have a, a virus rather than a ba bacteria. Okay, so then you just write me a prescription for antibiotics so I can... Well, well tell me about your concern about uh, antibiotics. Uh, what, why? Uh, tell me about wanting antibiotics. Well, my friend says they work and I can't afford to be out of work and it really hurts and I just, I want it, you know, to be over with as quickly as possible. So you're concerned about maybe this getting worse? Yes, and, yes, because it already, I have a little bit of ear pain too, so. Right, right, so you have some ear pain, you're mm -hmm. concerned about this getting worse, and concerned about maybe having to miss work. Right, right, I can't miss work. Right, and so uh, that's, uh, that's about the antibiotics, and you had a friend get better with antibiotics before. Correct, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I certainly understand your concern, and of course, we don't want you to get worse either. 
and uh, about you know not wanting to get worse and wanting to get better as quickly as you can. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things about antibiotics is that they can make you worse because if we give you an antibiotic for something that it's not necessary for, then when you really do get sick and need an antibiotic, then it may not work as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, what do you think about that? Well, what am I supposed to do then? Well, I'll tell you what, um, I understand your concern, and uh, what I'd like to do is, if this is okay with you, is, is uh, I will, what I suggest is that you, these, usually these things get better in several days on their own without antibiotics, mm -hmm. is that you use ibuprofen, 200 milligrams every four to six hours for pain, and then you gargle with some salt water as much mm -hmm. as you want, and a tablespoon of honey and some hot tea can help with the pain. And then, because I know you're concerned about not wanting to get better, uh, if you're not better in four or five days... Oh, that's uh, a long time, don't right? you Right, but usually this is these things clear up faster than that, because it, it started this morning, so it's pretty new. And I don't want to do more harm than good for you. So if, if you're not better in four or five days, uh, on your way out, uh, I'll have you stop and we'll check with the nurse and make sure you have her phone number directly and you can call back and leave a message mm -hmm. and then I'll call you back and we'll talk on the phone and see how you're doing. And if you're doing, uh, if, and you still have concerns or you're not any better at all, then we can talk about uh, antibiotics then. So hopefully we'll, you'll be better and if you're not, then you won't have to come back in and have another office visit or anything. I'll check in with you. Okay. All you have to do is call. So I don't have to pay another copay or no, anything like that. No, not at all. That. Not at all. We'll just. Uh, I understand your concern. It's it's a it's a valid one, mm -hmm. and I want to address it and make sure that we take care of you. Okay. Does that sound all right with you? That, that sounds all right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Sandy. Uh,